separate. Mm. And now you know exactly how to dress for the <laughs> so day. So pretty much this kind of vibe, but just have a have a cardio or a jacket jacket or something you can throw on if yeah, you need to. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, one thing, G, that I, I love uh, that's been a trend for a while now, and we always talk about women, our makeup, our skin routine, yeah. but for men it's become just as important, right? Well, especially in this in this gig, and you'll know. I mean, I've, I've become the beard guy. We were joking about the fact that I got sent about 90 beard kits on Father's oh, Day because wow. I've been, as you can see, growing a bit of a beard so that I can I'm ultimately just it. shave it all off. Yeah. I'm getting to that point where I'm, I'm about ready to, to shave it off. Are you? I'm, I'm doing the, the old man beard stroke uh. a lot now, which makes me, I, I think, look wise. Hey, yeah, I look really yeah, wise. Yeah. Um, but obviously, I'm, I'm hammering my skin in the process, yeah. so I've had to be a lot more conscious about what's going on above the beard line and what's going yes. on below. So there's yes. lots of obviously beard conditioners and ways yeah. that you can look after the skin beneath yeah. it. But I'm prepping now, I'm gonna have to shave and obviously irritate the skin. So I've been trying to to soften this. I would imagine I'm gonna have like a baby's bottom-like skin yeah. underneath yeah. this beard. But for me, you're on camera, yes. you've got really long days. I've got to manage um, the oil on my yes. skin and it's a big yes. thing. And our makeup artists, they know us so well. Like, I mean, there's no personal space left um, in our environment, but there is something about having an oily skin yeah. that um, obviously, it sends a particular kind of message, and we're up and down, we're running, we've got this beautiful new big expensive studio that we're charging around. So me, for me, I have to have a moisturizer um, yeah. that has a matte finish, yes. um, but that still looks after the skin. Yes. Um, eye cream is absolutely essential, essential. At, at not just at my age, but in this, this industry, because you've got makeup on, makeup off, makeup on, makeup yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. We're in the sun, we're in the cold, we're in all kinds of um, air conditioned spaces, so I've got to be really conscious yes. of that. Um, but ultimately, your skin is one thing that you're going to have with you. You're going to be wearing it for the rest of your life. True story. Um, and I've, I've now reached that like critical mass point where yeah. I'm start, starting to worry that another 10, 15, 15 years, I'm gonna look old. So I want to make sure that you <laughs> keep your skin elastic. You've got to look after yourself. And dudes, let's be honest. It's, it's moved out of even that metro sexual space now. Yeah. Looking after your skin is part of health and wellness. Exactly. It's, a, it's an extension of yourself. Um, and if you're not prepared to look after the way that you look and take care of these these assets that you have, and it is an asset in our industry, um, yeah. you're not taking care of yourself. Yeah. Love yourself enough to take the time. So exactly. get a moisturizer that's, take the time. that suits. And you don't want to be rocking up doing a presentation no. at work in a beautiful suit, but with like oily skin. So this Definitely. There we go. Tabiso, how do you take Boom. care of your oily skin, my love? Uh, well, 